Mike, with fantasy football drafts approaching, everyone's trying to figure out who's that guy that's going to get my team the championship. We're going to talk about two running backs today who are very similar in skill sets and fantasy production, Ray Rice and LaShawn McCoy. If you had a choice of those two, which one would you pick? I would take McCoy. 17 touchdowns last year. Just a touch more big playability than Ray Rice, too. To me, that's the difference-making sort of thing here in this discussion. I, I want a home run hitter if I'm taking a back very high in round one. Do you think McCoy's going to do that again, though? 17 touchdowns, and it's a high bar to set for him to get even close to that, maybe even 14, 15 touchdowns. Well, I mean, from the standpoint of 17 touchdowns, even if that goes down a little bit, there's still that big playability. We're talking about a guy... Better yards per carry average than Rice last year. More yards, more rushes of 20 yards or more. Averaged more than five yards per carry two years ago. Again, it's the home run ability that's important to me. And this is a guy in LaShawn McCoy that he was one of the few Eagles, I think, that really lived up to the hype last year and maybe took his game to another level. So a young guy, healthy, quick, gets, uh, you know, carries near the goal line, can score from anywhere on the field. To me, he's the guy I would want. Well, Ray Rice, I think he's a better receiver. He puts up better receiving numbers, and he has done it consistently for three years in a row, putting up over 60 catches, two of those years over 70 catches. Uh, you know, the touches he gets as a running back, you don't have to worry about it. And the nice thing about both these guys, when I'm a fantasy owner, I always pick guys who don't have a handcuff. Neither of these guys have a handcuff, but I like the fact that Rice it gets more touches in the receiving game than McCoy does. McCoy has had a big receiving. You go back two years ago, I believe 78 catches. Yeah, I, I think Rice probably does have the edge in that area. But again, I think McCoy, just when it comes down to the big playability, the explosiveness, there's just a little bit more there. And the edge in touchdowns is key too. And I, I like Ray Rice a lot. I think he's, he's a wonderful player. But only last year really was he a touchdown guy. 15 touchdowns total last year. Only 14 in his first three NFL seasons. So I, to me, you know, Rice and McCoy, they're two of the safer picks in fantasy football. I just think McCoy's got that little bit extra. And that's what I want if I'm taking a guy second or third or even first overall. I would consider LaShawn McCoy first overall. You know, McCoy has that home run ability you talked about, but he also has a lot of stars around him. Right. Michael Vick, Jeremy Macklin, Deshaun Jackson, Brent Seller. Four guys right there who have no problem getting fantasy production. If Vick stays healthy, that does you know a negative to LaShawn McCoy's fantasy value. You look at Ray Rice, you got you know Joe Flacco, who's certainly not going to score any touchdowns on the ground uh, in the receiving core. Just not allowed there. I mean, Torrey Smith could have another big year. Anquan Bolden, uh, you look at their tight ends, I know they want to get them more involved in the passing game, but nowhere close to what the Eagles have. Ray Rice is far and away the best weapon they have. They have to continue to feed him the rock. And with McCoy and the Eagles, there's just other people that Michael Vick can go to if he needs to. That's a good point. I mean, there are, the Eagles do have a lot of stars. But I think when it comes down to it, you know, we're looking at two of the safest picks in fantasy football. And when you look at this entire running back sort of uh, landscape this year, I think it's very tough to find guys that stand out. But I think we've seized upon two that are among the best available. Two guys that got well-deserved contracts in the offseason. Rice just got his before the franchise tag deadline so neither of them are playing for a contract right. uh, but certainly because they're they have that dual threat ability and they seem to be kind of a step above your Matt Forte's and some of the other running backs in the league and right around there with Arian Foster they're so similar I'm still gonna go with Rice because he's the best clearly the best on that team McCoy I just worry what if Michael Vick just takes over some of his games and does it himself I take McCoy you take Rice they don't last out of the top five for sure